enjoying an unexpected remote learning snow day today. Yay, Friday. Gotta love the South. So if I'm going to vlog today, I need to get dressed. And last night, I found my pre-Christmas jumper order on the doorstep finally. So I think I'm gonna do something I've never in my life done before. I'm gonna ask Instagram what I should wear. Okay, gonna have my taco salad for lunch and then I will get dressed in whatever sweater Instagram has chosen. Um, what is your taco salad recipe? Mine is Doritos and Ranch. Oh, so good. You're looking cute. Oh, guy. You have the nails. Have you little nails in your nails pan? So cozy. Hello! We are ready to get started with mid-month book bash. Um, side note, I was chatting with Stephanie this morning and she's going to try to read for 24 hours. Wow, go Stephanie! Um, but she said that hashtag MMBB is rather awkward on Instagram, so we're not going to use that one. We're gonna go with the, the whole deal, mid-month book bash. So that's good, that's cool. I mean, people know what we're talking about then. Anyway, um, also Instagram has chosen this lovely pink uh, cable knit sweater for this morning. I love it. Um, I thought it was gonna be a blowout because, you know, right out of the gate, it was like 69 to, 31 even like it was in the 60s to 30s for a long time but now I just checked before posting I mean, I'm, already, I'm already dressed but um but it's 57 to 43 that's really close was that right yeah yeah so anyway or maybe it was 53 to 47 yeah, that's what it was, 53 to 47. So, we're ready to get started. Um, yes, indeed, we have a Southern Snow Day. Um, we were told last night, yesterday afternoon actually, that there was a fear of inclement weather in the morning hours. And even though we're already on remote learning, I guess um, they didn't want, some, some teachers are, going into school because they don't have um, good internet access at home. Um, so they didn't want the teachers driving if we had icy conditions. Uh, but really, I think that we're all just tired. We're all just tired because let me just tell you, um, this remote learning, virtual learning, learning on the internet, whatever you want to call it, it is no joke. Excuse my son. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pick out my books. I, I thought about like what my goal should be because Stephanie's doing 24 hours. Should I do that? And it was tempting because I, I think I could, being that I have today off more or less. Um, but I don't want to like skew my record the first you know month out of the gate because if I nailed 24 hours this time, I likely wouldn't be able to do it every time because it's not often that I have a bonus day off. Um, and I kind of like am distracted because let's face it, I have been doom scrolling for, um, I think like 19 hours a day for the last two days. Is that right? Did I do that math? I've been, I got five hours of sleep <laughs> um, for the last two nights. Well, last night I slept well, the two nights prior to. Um, yes, yes, let's, I don't wanna talk about that right now. Anyway, um, it's a good thing that I have this readathon to get me back on track 
you know, somebody just needs to tape down my thumb so I can quit the doom scrolling. Um, so, yes, I can read with four fingers on each hand. <laughs> anyway, let's go pick out my um, books. Oh, we were talking about goals. I'm so just, see, squirrel. Um, my goal, I decided my goal for this month, like you can pick hours or pages or um, book counts. So I'm just gonna set the bar. I'm gonna see how many books I can finish in these four days because I haven't finished any. I've only started one and I've only read 26 pages of it. So yeah, I need to get busy. So I think my goal is to finish at least five books. I can do that. But um, I will be handicapped because I also need to catch up on my buddy reads, which are all larger books for the most part, um, and books that I won't be able to finish in four days. So I want to try to get five books in, but also catch up on all, all my buddy reads. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, so this is the book I've been reading. I've read 26 pages, and it's only um, 60 pages, 168 rather. Um, and this is for my indie press project. We're doing Hanford Star. Um, and I'm enjoying this. This is um, uh, an, an indigenous author from Taiwan. And um, the book is, he he's a native Taiwanese speaker, but this was written in Mandarin and translated to the English. Um, and it reminds me just like so much of my dad and brothers because it's hunter school. It's very much, you know, like... Um, hunting father son grandfather grandson um passing down those nature skills um through generations and yeah i'm really enjoying that oh and i also i forgot i also have this started um which is the first of my cuban reads for this month um shay fidel and the improbable Revolution that changed world history, and this is really good so far. It's immensely readable. It's very, um, the author is actually more of a travel writer, I think. So uh, his writing style is very like fast paced and engaging. And he's like, for me growing up in the eighties in Florida, um, um, Fidel is kind of an iconic, bad guy <laughs> but oopsie sorry <laughs> um in this book he looks at Fidel before he became this iconic bad guy and it's just really interesting like this blew my mind the fact that um what's his name oh gosh Ed Sullivan uh, interviewed him on you know, his big variety show and everybody thought he was so cool like wow anyway so there's that that I'm reading I'm reading this with Alba from Syriella and actually I do have I have um, another Julia Quinn started um, not this one the next one in the series um, I think it's Winnie was wicked to be honest so uh, listening to it on audiobook, so loving that. And um, then these are the ones I need to start for Buddy Reads. So, Cuba, A New History by Richard Gott. I'm reading that with Karen uh, from Run Right Reads and Heidi from My Reading Life. And then uh, World of Wonders. Uh, this one is for Heidi and I, our new book naturalist book club. Uh, and you can join that on Instagram, Book Naturalists. And then The Eighth Life, I am going to be reading with Jacqueline from Six Minutes for Me this month. What a beauty, right? And then um, Silver Sparrows, I'm reading this with, it's just one sparrow, <laughs> Silver Sparrow. I'm reading this with Karen as well. Um, this is the Jacqueline Woodson Project. And then um, I do want to start my poetry collection um, project, Night Sky with Exit Wounds by Ocean Vuong. So I'm going to go take an Instagram picture of those and then um, read, assuming I can tape down my thumbs. 
I got new calendars. Speak when you are angry and you will make the best speech you will ever regret. Mmm, interesting. And I added a dust calendar this year because basically I couldn't resist. So, <laughs> far, far in the stillness, a cat languishes loudly. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Wednesday. I wish they all had quotes, but maybe there aren't 365 cat quotes. Thursday. What a cutie. And today. Oh, another quote today. Perhaps it is because cats do not live by human patterns, do not fit themselves into prescribed behavior, that they are so united to creative people. Aww. Okay, and I got one is at school, so we can't see that one because it's locked down. Uh, get away from here is the, I found the same artist for um, the kitchen that I had last time. Resolutions were made to be broken. <laughs> okay, I am going to see if I can sit down and focus and get halfway through this one um, before starting something new. So, let's go sit on the rainbow couch because I need to use my kid's power charger. Hey. What, um... Y'all. The doom scrolling is real. I have no control, no control over my thumbs. They have a will of their own. Um, yeah. I'm on page 50 in my book, so <laughs> it's five o'clock, so there's still time to recover this day. Maybe my sugar intake will help me focus. Probably not, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So, let's go check Instagram and decide well, we've already decided. Let's go check Instagram and see what kind of sugar I'm gonna ingest this evening. Looks like it's Sonic time. Ooh, yeah. I don't know what I was thinking though. <laughs> Thirty degrees. Oh, ignore that maintenance required light because I got an oil change and they forgot to fix that for me and I don't know how. Whoops. <laughs> I need to read my book, guy. Can you help me with that? Maybe somebody needs to take away my Twitter. <laughs> okay, it's seven o'clock. We gotta get serious. It's a good thing I made this a four-day readathon. I gotta do better tomorrow.